What's up everyone, this is Mini, and today I'm coming at you with my build for the United States Tier 9 Premium Destroyer The Black. Before we get into that, a couple of quick reminders. One, as always, I was provided this ship by Wargaming for the purposes of review. Second, don't forget to like the video, make sure to subscribe to my channel as well to help me keep making great content, and make sure to leave me a comment down below, but let's get into it. So, US Black is, as I said, a premium tier 9 destroyer. It is coming back after a long time of unavailability. You'll be able to get it through completing a uh, set of campaigns that will open on June 10th and run through Jul beginning of July, and so you complete those to get a perma camo, and at the end of that, you will be able to purchase the black for 19,300 doubloons, or it will be available in the armory for coal soon after for about the same price as the Deustra Shimmy. But let's talk about this. First off, for Captain, if you have him, Ovechkin is a great Captain put on that for a reason I'll talk about here in a second. But there's a couple different ways you can build it. I've gone for a more common build, but you could also build this for more focus on damage farming. So... Your first four skills are going to be the same as always. Preventive Maintenance, Last Stand, Survivability Expert, and Concealment Expert. And having Ovechkin for the Improved Survivability Expert is really nice. After that, you're also going to want to get Adrenaline Rush, which will take up 13 of your points. And that 13 points does not change. Now, there are two ways you can build it after that. I've chosen to build this as a RPF spotter, which will be more clan battles, more competitive based. So I have the RPF. And then I have Grease the Gears. And then with the three points, I took Fill the Tubes just to be able to continue dropping out Torps. Because having the ability to continue to launch Torps quicker, especially when they're doing 21,000 maximum damage, is really nice. But you could do this build and actually swap out Torpedo Tube Reload Time for the ability to take Superintendent and get an extra heal, or not heal, pardon me, get an extra radar and an extra smoke. Now, if you don't want to take RPF, where I would recommend you go is that you take Main Battery AA Specialist, so that's three points, and then I would recommend you use your two points you would have remaining then instead of taking Grease the Gears to get Demolition Expert for the extra chance of causing the fire. You can play around, find what works for you, but I build this thing like a Fletcher because it is very much a gunboat with also some really good torps to back it up. But with the fact that the guns are 2.9 second reload, this thing deals a lot of damage. Next up, for equipment, you are going to want to take the following upgrades. So, Main Armaments Mod 1 is always going to be your best bet in the first slot. In the second slot, you have a couple options. Surveillance Radar is how I highly recommend you run this, but you could choose to run this for Engine Boost if you want. But I recommend taking the Surveillance Radar and running the Consumable for Surveillance Radar over the other two options you get. In slot 3, I like to take Aiming Systems Mod 1 to have the main battery shell dispersion because you already have a decent smoke with the fact that it's a 34 second long smoke and 127 second dispersion time with the flag. But if you want to bump the consumable action time up by 30%, you can. I find that I don't need it because I've already got that long time. In slot 4, you're going to want to take Prop Mod. You've already got a really nice rudder shift, so being able to speed juke is going to be ideal. In slot 5, Concealment System Mod 1, because this brings our concealment down to 5.8, which means that Legendary Gearing and a couple other destroyers are going to be the only things which outspot you. And then in slot number 6, you're going to want to take Main Battery Mod 3 to lower that reload time, and your Traverse Speed isn't affected majorly by it because you still have a traverse speed of 5.3 seconds. Finally, let's talk about the exterior. Now, if you complete the portal campaign, you will get the Sui Generis uh, Perma Camo. This camo is nice. It has no differences from the standard camo except for the fact that I think it looks a lot uh, sleeker. However, if you have the clan tokens or the ranked tokens to do so. There are two excellent camos, Crocodile Hunter and Marlin, in the armory that you can purchase that give you improved bonuses. And so if you have those, I highly recommend getting the one of those camos to put on the ship, especially before the economic rework comes out. For flags, as always, flags only matters if you have ones that give you economic bonuses, in which case take those. 
And then in signals, because it's a tier 9, you're going to want to mount economic and special flags as much as possible. Or decent bonuses if this is past the economic rework, because it'll give you those perks. And then for combat, you're going to want to take the smoke generator consumable action time to increase that length. Along with taking November Foxtrot, Sierra Mike, Juliet Yankee, and India Yankee are a must because you don't have heal. And then you're going to want to take India X-Ray along with Victor Lima and Juliet Whiskey as your remaining ones. If you're playing a competitive, I would swap out Juliet Whiskey for a Juliet Charlie flag to remove detonation choice, but that's up to you. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope this video helps and you enjoy your United States Black. As always, don't forget to like the video and make sure to hit that subscribe button. But this is Minnie, signing off.